Another two unloved Dysons enter Hoover Master's Emporium. These were five quid each. Who can see the other one? I got them same night as the DC-39, which doesn't work, by the way, because um, it's a Dyson. Of course it's not going to work. I've also got a DC-33 to show you I got last night. And uh, somebody asked me, well, why, why don't you like, like, how come Dysons aren't reliable? I mean, uh, no, nah, how did they, how did they phrase it? Um, Dyson are so reliable, blah, blah, blah. So I said to them, look, if Dyson were so reliable, how come so many vacuum cleaner repairer and servicing people specialise in Dyson? Yeah, so so reliable, haha. <laughs> so these two are probably broken. Uh, this is a DC-14 all floors from probably about 2009. I've got the same one actually, I got that for free from a neighbour who was upgrading. Works fine, needed a clutch. Um, they were upgrading. It did, it, the clutch worked but the belts were stretched so I had some clutches so I just threw a new one in. It was also complete and not as battered as this. But it was only a fiver so who can complain? It has a crevice tool which is battered. Hang on, focus. There we go. Battered. Uh, no other tools unfortunately. It is grubby. And I think one of these, I think it might be that one, has a horrible cheap air freshener in it. This one smells bad, I'll tell you that. If we have a look in here, that post filter looks quite black, but I haven't looked at that. Literally just got these out of the car. Mmm, how nice. But, oh yeah, it does smell. But it doesn't look bad enough that um, it won't wash up fine and we won't have to get a new one. I need to order a big load of... Um, uh, fil filter pads because A I'm out and B these are probably all blue ones so I'm going to need them I put them in anyway but I'm going to need them even more now so let's get filter tab 1 which already looks undone come on round you come this one here with a there we go I'm actually going to pause you and move you because you're kind of in the way my camera's in the way so give me a minute Hey, do you know how Dyson Cyclones are so efficient? I mean, like, look at all that. I think that's cat hair. Could be any kind of hair. There you are. All kinds of hair. It's not char-grilled. It's a bit undercooked for my liking. I like them to be totally burnt and crispy and dud. But uh, I think that might be alright. Though I think it'll still be blown, but when are they not blown, to be honest? Yep, there you are. Lovely. Let's uh, throw this back on. Come on up, you come. Without knocking the camera over. Just about there. There you go. Okay, it's quite carbony in there. And very dusty. I think the cyclone's had a leak or two. So, with it in that state, we can conclude it probably needs a new motor. But you never know. The cable. Let's have a look at the cable. It's done that crinkly thing I'm not a massive fan of. Might be alright, I'll have a look. Let's unwind the cable, which is kind of stuck together like that because it's cold. Um, and we pull this up. And the hose is not split. But I won't show you because it's quite an awkward angle, but it's not split. Uh, what else to look at? Let's see, the plug looks fine. Doesn't smell of burning or any generic stuff like that. Let's um pop you. Let's see how tell you what, you can stare at this DC 14's cyclone tips for a couple of seconds. Check this out, it's gunky. So we have a brush roll, which is good. It's a good start. Uh, it's quite gummed up with string in here and the clutch is a bit sticky I think still got one of them um, so let's pull this back a minute stand it up, there we go, it stood up now I will say I'm not a huge hater of the DC-14 it's not, ooh ooh we've got some kind of blockage let's uh, tilt you back Hang on a minute, don't hurt your old don't hurt your older friend. 
That DC-14 should be older, because it's got like a... Ooh! Yay! That's a pain cell has caused this. Do you think somebody's gone and got rid of this because of that? I uh, doubt it. What internal hoses kinda knackered. So I'm gonna look at that, that's very nice. Let's um leave that in there just now. I'm not making a mess. So we'll go and pop this out of the way and have a look at this one. Well, here's a DC fourteen I think it's a Vroom model. My uncle had the Vroom. Vroom. Which he gave to me, which I sold. Yep. So, yeah. I think it's faded. Slightly. It was quite obvious in the car because that bit there is a different shade. And it is taped together. Which also has a cable tie on it. So, I hope... Right, that this isn't a completely knackered chassis. Because if it is, we've lost. I don't think there's a seal there. I might have actually got one of them. Uh, maybe we should bust the cable tie. Is that a cable tie? Yes, it is. <sighs> Hang on, let's see what we can do here. I think there's a bit smashed out of the chassis or something. I've got one of these, um, but it's in a darker colour. I've broken a lot of DC-7s up for spares, but not a lot of DC-14s. Yeah, if I do that, it's just tape. So I'll leave that just now. We've got two tools. A mint-looking crevice tool. And a pulsey tool with some lovely fuzz. I have got a spare right there. Correct dusting brush, but we'll leave it off for now. Uh, have a look in here. Now this looks like a pattern filter. So it's also very dusty and it's let quite a bit of dust out. Oh, smell that. Yep, it's had a nice freshener in it. Let's bonk you back on there. The wand... Is it just me or is it not kind of supposed to be a different colour? Maybe this isn't a DC-14 room, but it's got the wand from one. I don't know. Because that is not the right cord grip, I don't think. That's a different colour. If you look at that DC-14, it's the kind of dark steel Dyson. This is lighter, but it's got a steel cord grip. Who knows these days, eh? I've got... I've definitely got a wand over there and a hose. So if it needs a hose, that's no problem. And, oh. The hoses. Yep, it does need a hose. Let's um let's take this very mucky sticky hose off. Yep, it needs a hose, so for now I'll probably I don't know if I'll repair it. I don't I can repair DC oh, four ones that's quite stiff. But I don't know about DC fourteen. Uh, wand is a little bit worn, but it's not worn that it's not worn enough that it's shocking. There's a plug. There's a bit of paint on the cable, but let's hope it's all right. Uh, I'll probably go and bust that cable tie off in a minute and show you what it's hiding. I'm thinking the seal might be missing. Here's a uh, quite a clean brush roll. Very stiff brush roll. If I, the clutch is off, that might help if it was on. Okay, that clutch is not moving. Oh no, it is moving. Maybe been in storage for a while. Uh, ah, the sole plate's not on properly. Might help if it was on properly. So I'm going to go and get an instrument to bust that cable tie in. That sole plate's quite chewed up. Wow, that is chewed. Give me a minute. I think maybe those uh, nuts are just... A tad too chewed for me to sell on. But I've got a couple of DC-07 ones which should fit. The flash also highlights a bit of hair. Let's see if we can even turn these. Oh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Hey, come on. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, no. This is on permanently, isn't it? Let's uh, pause a wee second. Well, they don't call me Hoover Master for nothing. After lots of struggling, I got it off, and it seems to spin all right. It does need a good service, I think, but 
better than nothing. I'll uh, we'll need to go and look out a couple of DC seven ones I have. They should fit, I think. Probably. Uh, I'll bust that cable tie off and I better show you the, the post filter as well, eh? Give me a minute. Back again, I found a DC 7 one but it's uh, snapped. But we can at least see if it fits. It is knackered but it, it should fit. Uh, we'll just test this out. Might help if the brush roll was... Yeah, possibly it will not fit. Well, maybe it would help if the brush roll was in properly. That always does help. Hang on. There we are, that's more like it. Let's quickly get that back in. Come on, there we go. That spins fine. Wow, those clutch belts are loose. But we'll sort those out. Yeah, that fits fine. So, lucky. Uh, right, so I'm going to bust that cable tie off, show you what it's hiding. Sorry, blow my nose. Okay, let's do this. Cable tie versus dodgy ancient pair of scissors. There's probably more efficient ways to chop this, but the scissors should do it. Right, he's got it in. And there it is, that was easy. Okay. Cable tie is removed. It's a heavy. Let's start peeling off the duct tape. Is that another cable tie? Or is that just marks in the duct tape? Well, it's marks in the tape. Right. Trying to find the bit to start peeling is the hardest bit, but once you get it, it should. Well, of course, it'll be on the strips, won't it? Because you can't. Maybe I should pause while I do this. Give me a minute. I don't know what the issue is here. The seal's there. It's all taped up and distorted. That looks fine. Don't know if anything's broken there. I'm probably going to use another seal though because it is quite distorted. Let's pull that last wee bit of tape off, man. There we go. So, I don't really know. Um, tape's coming off a bit easier now. Just a wee bit. Although the seal I do have is actually on the chassis and the chassis got put outside without taking the seal off so I need to go and get that out of the snow let's take so that's that off the seal here as you'll see is completely distorted but uh never know it should oh, pardon me I should get this um fully assembled properly uh, it's quite clean in there though, that's a good thing. There's no huge build up of hair and fuzz there. Oh, I never showed you the post filter. Right, better do that. So I need to sort this out and get it kind of in one piece. And by one piece I mean complete and working. Hang on. Well I remember the pre-filter being patterned. I think this has had a new post filter as well. And that doesn't look horrific, looks a cheap one. Doesn't smell a burning, so it might be, motor might be alright. If motor is alright, that would be good, because it needs a lot of parts on it, this machine. Uh, so that's that. I'll remove this anyway, because it's minging. And pretty dead. I'll just pop that back on there. I will test it eventually. Not today, because I'll need to get that seal in and it'll be wet. So thank you very, very, very much for watching. So appreciate it, by the way. You guys are great. Uh, oh my God, there we uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye and all that. Yeah, that was kind of abrupt.